State admits that finding discrepancies of just a few thousand dollars, where that money came from and where it went, could take years. Recollection of the crime scene, physical description of the suspect, his name, his profession, where he worked, the detective says, all added up. Everybody's here, they're waiting for these gates to open, and when they get open, we'll be there with them in turn three, showing you all the excitement. You see, you're way better at it than I am. This is family vacation, 1960-something. I'm the taller, better looking one. Wow, a little look at some of the highlights of all the stories that Rich Van Wyk has covered for us over the years. 43 years here at Channel 13. Today is his last day. You know, on Fridays, you, that's not news to you. It, you, no. you, you, know, you you've, you've been planning for this. And, you know, on Fridays here, at Channel 13, we always want to bring you an inspiring story to wrap up the week. We are inspired by you, Rich. How are you, how are you feeling? I am, I am humbled, and I feel the gratitude and just taken aback by all the wonderful things people are saying about me, and I, I appreciate them greatly, and I'm, I'm so thankful. I mean, getting an opportunity to start out part-time after an internship, a smart aleck college kid, <laughs> given an opportunity to work part-time, turning that into a full-time job and a full-time career for entire working life. That's pretty incredible. Yeah. Well, you're pretty incredible. Uh, and uh, you've taken notice of some people in some high places. I want to show you this. Wow. Not only have you worked with some great ones, you are one. You've worn many hats in and out of the newsroom. You've received a lot of awards along the way on this journey. And it's one of my hopes that there's still room for the state's highest award because you, sir, epitomize oh the high standards that are synonymous with what a Sagamore of the Wabash requires for admission. So again, congratulations. Yes. Yeah. yeah, Sagamore of the Wabash for you, and uh, we have it framed. Well, and here, here comes your oh wife, Julie, Kelsey, and Kim. He has family. three daughters, and uh, one is not here with us, but uh, this is from the governor, and this is the highest honor to be given to a Hoosier, and he deemed that you were worthy, and we agree. Well, it, I hope that I maintain the trust, the likability of people, and my gratitude goes for the people who welcomed me into their house, welcomed me in their lives, and trusted me with their stories. I'm also grateful for a family who understood that this was a 24-7 gig and there were parties missed and performances missed and showing up late for family get-togethers. It took a toll on a family, but never once did this family complain to me. They whined a little bit now, <laughs> but they never complained about it. They understood the sacrifice this profession calls people to make. Yeah. We call you the commander. We do so in such a, a loving way. Uh, you just take command over everything that you're assigned. Just a wide range of stories. There was never a doubt that you'd get it done. You'd get it done well, fair, and with heart. People, people entrusted me. People went along with me. People gave me tools. They gave me opportunities. And Channel 13 gave a kid from Rochelle Park, New Jersey, opportunities that people look back and say, wow, he really did that. And yeah. it's still a little hard to comprehend. Yes, but, you did. And you're making it easy, too. Well, job well done. I'm very right. happy for you. And uh, hopefully you won't be missing uh, life events as, as we move forward. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. As we leave you tonight, we hope you have a wonderful weekend. And we're going to show you some highlights of some of our favorite photos of Rich Van White during his 43 years here at Channel 13. Wow.